Hey guys, uh, so for this project, we're going to be removing these panels uh, and replacing them with new ones and then replacing the entire off-grid system. Uh, these are Astro Power 75 watt panels and I think there's some other ones over there. I'm not sure what those are. This system has been here for, geez, I think 25 years or so. Still running fairly well, all things considered. Um, so we're going to be replacing this and I'll just kind of, uh, go through it as we do. So I'm down in the little tiny basement here. Uh, so we got a trace inverter. It's an SW4024, 24, 24 volt system. There's some old, uh, wind controllers there and a dump load. Got the generator input. Uh, here's the, uh, the battery in. And here's the battery box. I'm going to get this opened up in a minute here. And over there we got the well, we got the charge controllers. So this system's been added on to many times. Um, and there's the fun entrance I get to bring everything out. So the way I'm working this today is I am just disconnecting the inverter and hooking the generator straight up to his loads. Um, and then the homeowner is actually going to get rid of all this stuff for me. Uh, so he's going to drag all these big lead acid batteries out. We're going to be putting in six simplify 3.8, 48 volt and a solar 12 K. So these are crown batteries, uh, obviously not very well maintained at all. Um, but yeah, so he's going to be taking these out. Uh, I don't actually think they're that old. I think they're from 2016. Um, but uh, he's having issues with them, and I can see why. Um, so he's going to be, I think, trying to get these back and running and selling them to a neighbor or giving them to a neighbor. I'm not sure what. This is inside of the old DC load center here. Just amazing the, uh, the ugly work that you find. And then there's this little uh, magic trick here. This is the, uh, the PV coming in. Voila, it's in SEU. It's amazing. Back to URD. I wonder what's inside of there. All right, so the homeowner has been busy this weekend. Uh, we now have a blank slate. It's all gone. So this is where our battery setup's gonna be. That's the generator input that's running the house right now. And uh, should be a good one.
All right, guys, well, I'm just finishing up for the day here. A uh, couple things we're leaving for right now. This is the generator, so that's just temporary there. And then the grid feed, or, or the, the house feed is over there. Um, we're just gonna leave that for tonight because I did not get this thing fully up and running yet. But tomorrow we are gonna get this uh, up and running. I got a uh, the generator guy coming out to switch this generator over to 240. And then we're gonna start the PV tomorrow. It's going to be a 7.5 kW uh, array, so it should more than cover his needs. today using Sunmoto Sunturf racking QCell 400 panels beautiful day on the mountain all right well end of the day here we got the electrical mostly done the bottom row is actually running right now charging the batteries and uh, ran out of mid clamps so top row is getting finished tomorrow All right, we got the bottom row of panels hooked up here. Uh, so the thing is charging at about 800 watts. Uh, I didn't want to turn the house on to the solar yet just because the, uh, the generator is wired for 120 volt right now. So I got the generator guy coming out tomorrow. He's gonna rewire it uh, for 240 split phase. It's a Kohler. And uh, then we'll get this uh, flipped over to the house and get that all powered up. But I didn't want to leave him with less than half a battery uh, overnight, just in case. There it is. All right, well there it is, finished product. So we got six Simplify 3.8s, Solark 12K, generator input. And then over on this side, we have the well disconnect. And we also gave them a uh, water heater smart load disconnect there. Um, they have a plumber coming to install a uh, 240 volt uh, electric water heater later this week. And um, so that will turn on uh, at a certain state of charge or voltage. And uh, yeah, so that'll allow them to use some of the excess power that they're generating during the summer. see on the screen there where it says uh, smart that's uh, that's the smart load that shows that the smart load is on um, I have the breaker on here it's not actually hooked up to anything yet and we're producing about 5.4 kW so there it is all right there it is minus one panel we had a panel that had some shipping damage and uh, decided to not use it. Had some damage to the back sheet. So the system is fully up and running though. Um, we got eight panels on the bottom, nine on the top. Nice part about these high voltage charge controllers is they're not too picky. As long as you give them enough power, they will run perfectly. A couple disconnects on the array here. I'd like to use those IMO disconnects, um, but uh, this is what I had available to me and they work really well. 600 volt DC rated. There it is. All right guys, hope you enjoyed the project. Uh, it's definitely a fun one. Uh, and these people are going to really enjoy their new system. So have a nice day.